If necessity is the mother of invention, she's a real tiger mama. And she wasn't gentle on Sandesh Ramprasad. This former graphic designer is now a pop-up restaurateur. And together with his two daughters, he's turned a startup into a success story. He has the background to a tale of rotis, tandoor and chai and real determination. It's no exaggeration to say that India runs on street food, especially in urban areas. From before dawn until well into the night, people flock to many kitchens on pavements and in shop fronts, snapping up a snack for breakfast, lunch or supper. The variety is amazing and the flavors are delicious. And now Eastern style convenience cuisine has popped up in Durban. Indian street food is considered to be a hidden gem. But thanks to Sandesh Rampasad, that is about to change. Durban food lovers are in for a treat as they discover new flavors that are bound to satisfy any craving one bite at a time. Sandesh has built this business from scratch and his daughters Sayali and Media not only sparked the idea but have also helped to make the dream become a reality. Hello Rampasad family, how are you all doing? I'm good, how are you doing? Good, good, and this must be the lovely daughter. I know that your dad is here, but I have to ask, what is it like working for him? I think it's really fun and you learn a lot. And for yourself? Working with my dad is a very good experience and is fun. Well, definitely a lot of lessons indeed. Well, you know, they've been my inspiration and motivation to get the brand Roti and Chai to where it is right now. Okay, well, it's on the hour. You better get back to work. You must be so proud of them, Sandesh. For us, uh, it was getting our food out there to the public. It was created in my grandmother's kitchen and basically started out as providing tasty meals for my girls because we were tired of fast foods. So as a single dad, I needed to satisfy them. And I think they enjoyed it so much that we decided to look at uh, getting it onto the markets. What does it mean to have your daughters with you? I think I'm fortunate enough as a father to be hands-on and also involve them in my passion and set the platform for them in their lives to know that you can start something, have a vision and have a dream and work very hard toward that and achieve it. Your motto is, it's real, it's simple, it's honest. How did that come about? Well, our wraps basically consist of a butter naan, a bit of lettuce and a few greens. I think the magic is in the chicken and in the spices that we use. So I very carefully blend all the spices myself. I marinate everything myself. All the recipes I've created in my grand's kitchen. So whatever's been created then is what you get now and going forward as well. Everybody loves food and that's why we are here. I'd love you to show me some of your menu items. Yes, I'd love to take you into the kitchen and demonstrate to you how we do our wraps that we're so famous for. Perfect. Well, Michelle, I think we need to suit you up and uh, get you wrapping. Well, that is quite the honor. Thank you so much. This is a hot tandoori naan. Dress it with some butter. That softens the naan a bit, gives it a lovely, lovely texture and taste. We dress it with some greens and our main ingredient. Oh, look at that. chicken. Succulent chicken. This pizza. is what it's all about. So the chicken goes onto the naan. That is a healthy portion. It is, it is. Mild, spicy. Mild, mild all the way. Right, here we are. So we have a minced dania yogurt dressing with tandoori garlic sauce. A mild wrap for you. Ready for you to enjoy. Awesome, well packaged and ready to eat. Now how would you say you are redefining Indian street food? I love to keep it simple. The secrets in the chicken and the spices and the taste. Oh wow, so really the beauty lies in its simplicity. Absolutely. All right, I'm going to head over to your daughters. They've got Just something me. planned as well. This is very much a family business with each member responsible for a part of the process. Hard at work, I see. Now, what's your role in the store? My role is wrapping and making sure the wraps are consistent. It is Father's Day. What is your message to your own dad and all the dads out there? I would like to thank my dad for always being here and all that he's done for my sister and I. Oh, that's beautiful. Well, let me not keep you. I'm going to go look for your sister. Roti and Chai has evolved from a pop-up to a bricks and mortar business. What are you doing? I handle the tow system. Pretty big role. It's Youth Day. What is your message? We are the future and if you believe in yourself and put in hard work, then anything is possible. That is so powerful and incredible. Okay, cool. So you want to charge more customers. I'm not going to keep you up. <laughs> 
Sandesh, I can tell that your daughters love working with you. Yes, absolutely. I think we've grown as a brand and as a family, especially being Father's Day, a very rewarding experience. The place is so on trend and vibrant. How does social media factor in? Social media is very important. It's pivotal to our business. It's grown our business from inception. Before we do any market or events, it's advertised on social media. We just posted an event for this evening, a street food vibe, and we'd love you to join us. Fantastic. I look forward to it. This was the end of the working day for most of Devon, but the street food feast was about to begin. It's a gorgeous evening to be out and the who's who of Durban is indulging in the finest Indian street food. Let's go join the party and find out what they think. It wasn't long before Michelle spotted someone he knew standing at the counter. A familiar male I face. Kirti, it's so great to see you. So good to see you again. Now, as a qualified chef, what is your thoughts on this amazing place? Sandesh is taking a heritage approach to food, but modernizing it with a street food concept. Shivnam, what do you think of the whole Indian street food concept? I think Durban needed something like this. We've had a lot of traditional food, but this is something new. It's new cuisine, it's fresh, and there's a lot of passion in the food. You can really see there's a lot of love for the food, but also for local Durban flavor. Hello, ladies. You all look like you're having a great time here. Thank you, we are. Well, what's your thoughts on Sandesh's Indian street food concept? Yeah, they're turning street food almost gourmet, but still fun. They're giving Indian food kind of cool factor, and that's what I like. Sandesh, you must feel incredibly proud. What do you feel with all the crowds? I'm overwhelmed. I'm joyful. I think I'm more humbled and very grateful. Having enjoyed the food, it feels like I've been transported to a busy street in Mumbai, indulging in the sights, sounds and flavours.